Hi. <laughs> you caught me. Hey, this is Rob with Longevity Learning Lab. Just doing some welding right here on some, uh, some I-beam. You know, uh, they were asking me if to make a video on uh, welding ventilation. Good idea. Um, obviously, look what you're welding. You know, you're, you got different kinds of materials. You've got, you got your stainless steel, you got your aluminum, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes you're welding over rust, welding over paint. So you want some ventilation. What are you going to do? You know, you got the respirators you can wear and you got the hood gets in the way sometimes. So you want to just have the ventilation. Well, my first thought was just open a window, <laughs> work outside. Well, sometimes you can't do that, especially like with the TIG welding and MIG welding, you've got your gas coverage. You got to keep your gas coverage on there. You know, you can't get blow it away with a big old fan or anything like that. So it's good to it's good to go ahead and just like, for instance, we've got here, we've got a smog hog, you know, and that'll, that'll suck the air up. It won't mess with your gas. You know, obviously you don't want to get it right there on, on your work. You can use a regular fan if you want to. Plus that cools you down in the summertime. You don't want to get it too close. Heck, you can even get a shop vac. Use your, your shop vac and put it right there. Boom, that'll suck the air out of there but you gotta watch out for your gas. So the best thing is, smog hog. And uh, this is the one we've got, you know, it's, it's a nice one. You know, it's got it's utility boxes on it too. But remember, like here, I'll go ahead and I'll run another bead. Keep, keep the airflow, you know, going around. So make sure you can breathe. You know, you can wear the respirator and you can have all the air packs up in the world. You know, there's got proximity suits you can put on. But, um, the best thing is just to have a good airflow around you and keep the doors open. And uh, that's really what you want to do. But uh, let me go ahead and I'll run another bead and I'll show you with and without your smog hog. Give me a sec. Okay, here's without the ventilation. So that's pretty smoky that way, huh? Okay, now we'll do it with the ventilation. You'll see how it gets sucked right up. See if we can get this little thing going on here. the smoke right out of there. See that just it just pulls it right out. Turn one more time. See, and you can see how that just, it just draws that smoke right up out of there. And now this table actually, it's even equipped to have the, have the airline hooked up to the, the complete table and it would draw the smoke down from you. But ventilation is a really, really, really big thing. I mean, you got to think about like, for instance, you got the galvanized here and that's even real bad here. Let me turn this on. It is kind of loud, but hey, you know, safety first. trusty fan. The fan's always handy to have in the weld shop anyway, just especially in summertime. And it'll just blow it away. And 
And then if people complain about it, you say, hey, you're in a welding shop. Be glad we don't smoke in the shop anymore. But ventilation's a real, real, real big thing you gotta deal with. And uh, like I said, if worse comes to push comes to shove, open a window. Well, there you go, that's your basic ventilation. I mean, there's a lot more you can get. They've got hoods, for instance. You can buy the, the piece that goes on the back of your, your uh, headset, your headband, and that'll give you a little bit of airflow and, and ventilation. And you can take the charcoal filters off of it and uh, play, replace them. Uh, you know, they're not cheap, but you know, nowadays what is? Um, but that's the thing is, you wanna keep all that, the ventilation, all the doors open if you can. You know, you don't wanna breathe any of that stuff. And that's why they have all the safety um, information on the, the, the boxes where you get your MIG spools, um, the rod, anything like that. I mean, that's part of the, the trade. You're going to have to go ahead and make sure that, you know, you're not going to fall out from lack of oxygen. Um, even though you're TIG welding, you're still going to get fumes off of that. You can get fumes off of the rod that you're adding. So just make sure that you know where you're at and what's available to you before you even start, you know, running a bead. And uh, yeah, just common sense. It's a common sense thing. And uh, Hope I could help you. And if you have any suggestions for any other kind of safety videos, give Longevity a, you know, throw us a, an email and uh, we'll address it as we can. And uh, thanks for joining me. And uh, I'm Rob with Longevity Learning Lab and we'll see you next time. Bye.